WooCommerce automation triggers are one of the most important features in Mailman. With the help of these triggers, you can create different types of email campaigns to follow up with your customers who are in different purchase stages. Now there's a specific WooCommerce automation trigger in Mailmint, which is target order status. This helps you create email campaigns for your customers based on what status their orders are in. So basically you'll be using this trigger once your uh, customers have already placed their order. So let's have a look at how this specific WooCommerce automation trigger works and how you can utilize it for your email campaigns. Let's get started. To utilize this WooCommerce automation trigger in Mailmint, you need to have Mailmint free and pro installed and activated on your WordPress dashboard, as well as you need to have WooCommerce installed and activated on your WordPress as well. So first, you need to go to Mailmint automations. Once you go there, you have to click on new automation. Then you'll click start from scratch and then you can give it a title. For now, I'm going to show you how you can create the automation. So select the starting point, then click on WooCommerce tab. Then you'll see the target order status trigger. So once you click here, you can see that the settings tab has opened on the right side. Now, if you click on select status, you'll see all the available status here, which you can set up and create different email campaigns for each of this order status. So the available status are failed, processing, on hold, canceled, pending, refunded, and completed. So basically, you can check out our YouTube description for the documentation for this specific target order status trigger and uh, you'll find out how each of the status work. So in this video, I'm going to show you uh, some of these triggers and their use cases and how they work. Now, let's talk about the on hold status. Let's imagine you're selling a physical product with the cash on delivery payment method. Now, one of your customers have uh, placed an order but hasn't paid yet. That's how the cash on delivery works, right? So Currently, the status of their order is on hold since they haven't paid yet, but the order has been confirmed, processed, and received from your side, right? So basically, what you can do is you can add this trigger target order status and keep the status as on hold and then send them an email that currently their order is on hold status. Uh, and once they receive the delivery, they pay for it only then their order will be confirmed and completed. This is an example of how the email would look like. Now let's talk about the target order status cancelled. Let's imagine another scenario where your customer is cancelling their order or maybe you're cancelling the order from your end. In this case, if your customer is cancelling the order from their end, you can set up the trigger as target order status and keep it as cancelled and then send an email to your customers confirming that they have successfully cancelled their order. Now, if you're cancelling the order from your end, what you can do is create the email in a way that you're apologizing to them for cancelling their order and state the reason why you cancelled the order in the first place. Now, here's an example. You can see in the example that I have stated the reason for why I canceled the order. The reason was the product was stock out and we couldn't update the website in time. So basically, if you send the emails like this, your customers will be able to rely on you more that you're being open and honest with them. And these email campaigns will help you to gain their trust so that they can order from you again. Now let's talk about the target order status, which is refund. You can send automated emails to your customers if there's any case of refunding the payments. Now sending timely refund emails to your customers will make sure that they can keep trust in your company if any issues arise in the future. So here's an example of the refund email. You can see that I have clearly stated that I have refunded their payment. And I also added a button that says order again. So basically, after getting the refund, if the user wants to order again from your store, they can easily do that by clicking the button in the email. 
Now that I have explained some of the target order status scenarios, let's have a look at a short tutorial on how you can create an automation flow for when a user completes their order. So let's get started. Now for that, you have to go to Mailment Automations and click on New Automation and then start from scratch. So let's say this is for an order completed uh, automation flow, right? So let's change the name to then go to the select the starting point and then click on WooCommerce. Click on target order status and select the status as completed. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to send my users an email once their uh, order is completed. All right. So let's send an email. Now let's go ahead. Now let's design our email. So if I click on design your email and I'll simply just start from scratch and then I'll add an image. Let's say the image is, let's say this one. So I'll simply insert it and it says thank you for your order hope you enjoy your purchase and let's say i'll add a text here i've prepared a text for this so basically this will be my email Let's say you can also change the background color if you want. You can also personalize the email with the placeholder of the merge text and simply use the first name and it's done. Now you have to simply click on next and then click on start workflow. Now when a user completes their order they will be sent this email here and that's it so this is how you can create different types of email campaigns using the woocommerce automation trigger target order status based on which order status your customers are in now i hope you've learned something from this video if you want you can check the youtube description below to go to the documentation for this woocommerce automation trigger or you can visit our facebook page or join our Facebook group to learn more about Mailman. Hope to see you in my next video. Take care.